Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alan with Off Grid Technology, and I want to do a unique little video that I haven't really seen too much about on the internet uh, or on YouTube when it comes to being prepared and radio communications. And let's talk about the two different types of radio communications that you're going to be using um, when either the grid goes down, or there's a hurricane that drops, you know, your, your communication around you. Um, whatever it may be, uh, there's going to be two different distinct types of communication. And to go a little bit, you know, to explain a little bit further of that, uh, what I want to do is compare the two radios that I have sitting in front of you here. So the first one that we have is the Yaesu FT5D. It's a very well-known Yaesu system fusion, does dual band UHF, VHF analog, AP, uh, me, APRS, uh, messaging, so forth. You can do tracking, all that good stuff. And then you've got your Motorola 6550 here, which is the XPR series. This is DMR. It's a single band. This one happens to be VHF. Uh, single band VHF, uh, analog, and DMR. Uh, but it offers some other features that the ASU line doesn't offer, such as digital encryption, DMR talk groups, time slots, things like that, um, which give you abilities to do certain things that the FT5 is not suited for. So let's take a scenario. You know, you're in Florida or somewhere else, hurricanes come in, it knocks down all of your your grid so your power is down your cell phones aren't going to work uh, analog phones may or may not work but you know they're not as reliable plus you can't move with them so you've had this storm come in it's knocked everything out you need to get a hold of somebody you've got somebody that's got a medical problem how do you get a hold of them well for that situation any type of radio is going to be useful for you um, because you're going to want to get communications out right so this radio would work, the FT5, this radio would work because they both can tune to uh, analog channels and so forth. Now, say you want to, in the same scenario, you know, there's no medical condition, but you want to gather as much data as you can to find out what's going on around you. You want to find out the conditions, you want to find out looting, you want to find out the lawlessness, things like that. Well, the DMR one wouldn't work that well for you in this case because now you've got a single band so you're limited to VHF sure you can turn to the two meter simplex you can gather some information there um, you can get some weather information on here you know since it's the VHF band uh, let's see you can do you know some some limited stuff you can do with this one now with the FT5 you've got a lot more advantages you've got Yesu system fusion which is very easy it's either on or off so you can scan all your frequencies both UHF and VHF for both the ASU system fusion and analog transmissions. You can also turn on APRS and start looking for APRS beacons without actually beaconing out. So you can do a lot of reconnaissance with the FT5DR that you cannot do with something like the Motorola. So this is where I, I talk about the differences. So this is where I get to the differences in the types of radios. So if I was in a fan and the, everything went down, I had to get as much information or make contacts, the FT5DR would be the best. You know, this is where I'm not worried about covering tracks. I want to gather as much information as I can. I want to be able to transmit as much information as I can. I want them to see my GPS beacon. Here I am, come get me, right? That's what an FT5DR would be great for. Now, this radio, I would not take into what I would call tactical situations. Now, tactical situations are going to be more of you're not trying to get outside information in or get inside information out, but you want to talk to different members of your group. You want to tell them about meetup locations and times and grid coordinates or whatever it may be that if you're using the FT5DR, sure, you can be on Yesu System Fusion. It gives you some obfuscation over the analog. But anybody that's tuned to that frequency with the uh, with System Fusion turned on is going to hear you. This is where the XPR series and the DMR series uh, of radios come in so much better is you have encryption in these. Now, encryption is, you know, let's get this off the table. Encryption is illegal to use per the FCC. So we're not condoning it. We're not transmitting here any encryption. We're just talking about theories should something happen. So keep that in mind. However, you have different levels of encryption that you can get. You have, uh, with the Motorola, you have RC4, which is, you know, consider compromised, but I mean, let's get real. If, if the grid goes down, not everybody's walking around with a laptop trying to break RC4 codes. Nobody really cares at that point, unless you're a state actor. They don't care about mom and pops running around, right? 
Um, but you've got things like that. You've got, you know, RC4 encryption on HD1s. And then you also have options with AES-256 encryption, such as the BTEC G, uh, excuse me, BTEC DMR6 x 2 Pro, and so forth. So you can see with radios such as DMR, you're, you're going to use this more for inner team communications versus something like the FT5, which you're going to be using for gathering information and reaching out to people. All right, so with the other radios removed, you can see where we were getting onto if there's two different types of radios. So, you know, when people ask me, what is my SHTF radio? I want to be very clear. I don't have one radio. I have a set of radios or different radios that do different things. However, this is how I personally set up my radios is I have radios such as the FT5, the ID51, things like that, where I want to make contacts as much as I can. And then I have radios that do DMR, such as the Motorola 6550, um, or my favorite, the 7550. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the 7550 is the antenna uses some weird proprietary, it's, uh, yeah, some ICOM type plug that only works for them. But anyway, for intercom radios or inter, inter squad radios, these are my preferred to use versus the FT5 and some of my other radios, which I use for intelligence gathering. So I hope you guys like this. It was just a short video explaining the, the two different types of radios when it comes to, um, you know, SHTF type scenarios. You've got your ones that you can use for info. You've got your ones to obscure info. Um, learn these radios, you know, buy these radios if there's something that interests you. You can get a 6550 for about 200 bucks um, right now on eBay. Um, you get some really good deals. In fact, I got one that comes with a microphone that has an external antenna on it. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on this radio if you guys want to see it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some videos over on these two radios and how I use them and how I set them up for uh, teams use and inner squad comms or inner family comms. Let me know. I'll do some videos on that. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope this video is informative for you guys. Like, subscribe. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming and watching these videos. It helps us grow and helps us bring more content for you. 73, guys. Have a great afternoon.